Hi Bloomies, welcome back to my channel, Late Bloomer 1111. I am Nicole, if you are new here, I travel around in my 93 GMC Ventura. Her name is Peach, she's a converted schoolie. Um, with my two babies and my fur baby Marley. In this episode of Late Bloomer, we will be exploring the mountains, um, Green Mountain to be specific. Um, about three weeks ago, I got notified that we received a full scholarship to attend um, the Firefly Gathering that will that is happening here in North Carolina, and I am super excited to show y'all what all happened. Um, I didn't get a lot of footage um, pertaining to like making stuff. I got little bits and pieces, but. I hope you guys still enjoy it. Um, I do want to send out a beautiful, beautiful thank you. When we weren't staying at um, the Firefly Gathering, we were staying at a beautiful couple's home. Um, their name is Ife and Lev. Thank you guys for your hospitality. Oh my gosh, my children truly enjoyed your children. Um, also, we traveled with uh, James, the Ethnic Explorer. We traveled with um, Lucretia and Khalid from Off Gridish and Kiyoshi. Um, and we also traveled with Denise. Um, anyway guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. And yeah, here we go. This view is just gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous. Like, look at those mountains. Oh my God. Okay, <laughs> look. Hi, everyone. Yes. Some natural morning lattes. Rise and shine. I love that. <laughs> Come on, y'all. I think it's getting better. Good that looks.
Lucretia and Khalid is in front and I am in the middle. I was talking to the guy, Orion. Yeah, yeah we're at Firefly. Huh? I saw the picture of the firefly. You saw it? Yeah. Mommy, I saw your home. Hello. How are you? Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Good. Thank you. Do we just continue on? Yeah, so on the, you can park on the left side of the road. Okay. And then registration is going to be up here. Awesome. Thank you so much. Here we go. So I am pulling in, but everybody is pulling in, so. Ah, there's our family! <laughs> yes, we're here! <laughs> Look who's beside us, guys. <laughs> so guys, here I was getting started on making my rawhide rattle um i was able to get into this class kind of late minute and um yeah here we are um shaving off the tip of the stick and unfortunately i didn't get to get um much of my rattle making footage because um i got a call from the youth village and Orion needed to be picked up. So, <laughs> so I'm just kind of like, I'm going to show you guys the end result of my rattle in just a second. But you measured around and then it's one and a half plus an eighth of an inch. So three quarters plus one eighth of an inch is seven eighths. All right, Blue Me. So like I said, I didn't get to get much footage because Orion needed to be picked up from the youth village because of course he was wanting me <laughs> and he kept crying for me so i went and got my baby but thankfully like i was able to like keep him together um while i finished my rawhide rattle and i want to show you guys my rawhide rattle so here it is <laughs> i'm gonna show y'all how it looks up close there it is. So it's made, if you guys do not know what raw hide is, it's um, essentially, this is actually made of deer skin. Um, and yeah, so this was very pliable when I first got started. Um, and um it was very flexible, like you could move it and cut it into any shape you wanted to. And that's what we ultimately did. And over time, the hide hardens. It hardens like literally really, really hard. And, um, and yeah, you can make a rattle. So you guys saw me um, shaving the outer layer of the wood off of my stick but you guys didn't see me making my pattern and sewing it up. So Orion was with me when I was sewing up my, um, my rattle. We had to put sand in here to allow the, um, the rattle to, or to allow the head of the rattle to like hold its form. And then within like a day or so, the hide actually, um, hardened and yeah, and it, and all you do is take out the sand, put your beads in here, anything to make noise, and you have your rattle. So we also learned that um, Native Americans, and my family is part Cherokee, so woo woo. Um, but Native Americans used rattles for like many different things. But one uh, specific thing that we learned um, was that they 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 used. Um, rattles to call certain bugs that they would use to fish with so they would tune the rattle with the type of sound 
that the actual bug would make. Like say for instance, crickets. Of course, this rattle is not tuned with anything. I just simply took some shells and it's a it's two hearts in here that this lady had. Um, but I took some shells that my mom had and I placed them in here after everything hardened. But yeah, I thought that that was like amazing. I thought that that was amazing, but yeah. Got my rattle, y'all. <laughs> We're gonna do a We're making spoons. Spoons. We got James. And we got Alicia right here. She's making her spoon. We're working hard. This is where my spoon is so far. Yeah, buddy. I'm using a knife and I'm using this thing. Like in a really deep hidden community in Ivanhoe and have their own church. I like to go. I went to this Green Man's Village that's on the Appalachian Trail. It's Brown's Gap. And you can see the roof of the house. And you know, they used to share crop that land and it's in a hollow. Oh, that is so nice. Look at that. <laughs> Handmade bowls. I love their harmony. A rainbow. Look at that. That's a dope picture, bro. Yeah. <laughs> So we're out here trying goat's milk. You want to try it, Harmony? We're out here trying goat's milk, right from the goat that's over there somewhere. Check the bunny. Check the bunny. It's a bunny? Yeah, come on. You want me to see it? <laughs> you want to put your milk down? Or you go drink it? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> You guys don't want the pears. You just want the leaves. <laughs> they don't like White those, Ryan. White White they don't like those. Here you go. Here you go. You're not getting that. Let them eat it. Let them eat it. Okay, I thought longer. Just kind of get a spoon. Yeah, just like the regular tea. Yeah, just like that. That's nice. Stir accordingly. This is beautiful. Yeah, the steamer is much more fiber than it's meant to, but it's a fire starter, so it's kind of meant to. I love this. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, I'm no, sorry. No, I'm no, all no, in your space. No, I, <laughs> I love this so much. Is there a, a device you recommend for these guys? Um, I'm, oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. But we get it all the time. So, yeah. <laughs> People be thinking. Okay, so I didn't have. Oh, I'm filming, by the way. There's James, guys. <laughs> Y'all know. Y'all know who he is. We're out here. Like, I, yeah, a lot has happened. And I didn't have a fork or anything to eat with. So, this guy randomly was like, he pulled a twig off of the tree. And was like, I'll make you some some chopsticks. So yeah, here we are. Ain't that crazy? This is so good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I agree. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Now, this is the other. 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 This
Yeah. Look at this oh. trail. Yeah, Oh, we're over here? No, oh, it's all right. So we just, you know, we have the bend, you know, we have those. Wow. And can you say the name one more time? A bicolor bolete. The bicolor is the red and yellow mm. together. That's Sometimes beautiful. the, so the you be caps cooking these joints. Dark do you cook red. them or do you eat them? Yeah, they got a nice, nice meaty texture. They do. We ate them last night. Oh wow. And uh, yeah, these are these are good eating. That and lion's mane. Yeah, mix it up with lion's mane. Yo, the <laughs> you, found, you found them around here? I found them at a waterfall not far. Oh, that's like crazy, 20 bro. Minutes from here. Oh. Learn the different types of mushrooms. And stuff. I only know so I only many. know like fifteen. And there's so many. there's so many there's yeah. so many. It's like herbs and plants. Oh I'm very cautious. Gosh. I'm very cautious in mushrooms. Yeah, how that's beautiful. When you get to know one, you get to know one at a time. That's how it works. You learn okay. one species at a time, and it'll introduce itself to you. Okay. And then once you get introduced, it's almost like you have. So Bloomies, I truly hope that you enjoyed this video. I had a ball at Firefly. It was super, super tiring because Firefly was literally on so many different hills that you couldn't avoid unless you had an e-bike, which none of us had an e-bike. <laughs> But I did want to show you a few things that um, I made at Firefly, one of which being my leather wallet. So this is how it looks when it's wrapped. I actually sewed this up. Super proud of myself. No, it's not perfect, but it's perfect for me. Look at that. And it was my first time sewing a wallet this is a leather wallet too so yeah so i made a wallet of course you guys saw um my wooden spoon of course it looks more like a pipe than it does a spoon but the concept was making a spoon not a pipe but hey multi-use <laughs> but yeah this is my wooden spoon and last but not least here is my broom. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm super, super excited about my broom. My broom making class like, was the only class that I truly wanted to do. Um, besides like making a bowl and making a spoon, like this was the class that I looked at and I was like, I really wanna make a broom. And I actually got, a, got to make a broom with the babies in the classroom with me so they were great enough you know for me to actually finish my broom but y'all look look at that look at the detail i am super thrilled and it it looks very complicated but it was not it was like super easy i actually want to start making these um but yeah so there's that. Um, also, guys, like I want to tell y'all. So a lot of people had been asking about my earrings and had been asking about how do you actually buy earrings from me. I had been working on a website, but I decided to just go ahead and create an Etsy shop. So my Etsy shop is linked below. If you guys do want to support Harmonious Leaf is my business name. It's literally named after Harmony, my daughter. So if you guys want to um, buy earrings, buy cutting boards, of course, they're going to be on there as well. Thank you guys for your wonder wonderful support. I hope you all made it this far. And if you did, please put a comment below. Um, put up a like. And if you're not already subscribed, 
come on and join the community. We are the Bloomies over here. <laughs> the late Bloomies. So come on over and join the join the tribe, actually. So yeah, Bloomies, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time. Mwah.